tough class to get any kind of result in. Yeah, 100%. Especially in the last couple of years, you know, it's been the biggest contingent in the whole field. You know, I think last year there was 25 GTM cars or something like that. So really incredible amount. And obviously this year is up there and around the same number. But, uh, yeah, have to wait and see how we go. Obviously, you know, for us, the, the main thing is, is trying to get a good result and be able to finish the race. You know, obviously, we, we all want to win. We all want to do a good job there. But, uh, you know, we're trying to be smart, sensible. Uh, you know, it's Michael's first time, and we want to try and be able to get to the end. I was just going to ask you if you thought there was actually a touch between the two cars, but the onboard from Lawrence Mantos point of view shows that was just a little yeah. nudge from the 15 Phoenix Audi. And by the looks of it as well, maybe Lawrence was uh, obviously you can't see where the car is on the right side in relation to the curb. Yeah. And obviously he was right against the curb and maybe Lawrence was just a little bit early in anticipating. Um, but yeah, unfortunately judged it a little bit wrong. And that's one of the places here, and there are a few places like it, where there really is no runoff area. There's barely a car's width, Ben Constantiris, between the white line and the arm core there. Yeah, absolutely, which obviously heightens the, the impacts. Oh big impact on the right hand side which is the inside of the last corner and then car resting in the barriers on the left hand side about another five or ten meters down the road and he could have gone straight across he would have spun